Lumini province in western Nepal is home to more than 5 million people, a rich cultural heritage passed down for centuries and abundant natural resources and capital. To foster sustainable economic growth, Lumini is shifting gears towards a development approach that is green, resilient and inclusive. अहिले जुन ग्रिडको कुराहरु भएको छ ग्रिडको एउटा अहिले नमूना प्रोजेक्ट बन्छ र यो यो प्रोजेक्टले चाहिँ हाम्रो लुम्बिनी प्रदेशको समग्र रूपमा जोडेर जरुरी कामहरु अगाडि बढाउने पनि प्रतिबद्धता राखेका छौ र यसले समग्र लुम्बिनीलाई विकास गर्छ र यो लुम्बिनीले सुरु गरेको प्रोजेक्ट अरु सबै प्रोजेक्टलाई अनुकरणीय हुन्छ भन्ने आशा र विश्वास लिएको छु र यसको सम्पूर्ण जिम्मेवारीताका साथ हामी अघि बढ्ने प्रतिबद्धता जाहेर गरेका छौ Lumini's development priorities are in turn aligned with Nepal's green, resilient and inclusive development strategic action plan endorsed as part of the historic Kathmandu declaration by the government and 16 development partners in 2021. Since then, Nepal and its partners established a long-term grid platform to scale up and align investments. Grid approach basically focuses on policy reforms. It's integrated approach. much more targeted approach uh, to deliver development result and uh, it it basically prioritizes the financing from all sources so the government sources alone would not be sufficient so that partnership matters the lumbini grid platform is part of this long term effort under which development partners including the asian development bank british embassy kathmandu european union swiss embassy us aid and the world bank are aligning their support for lumbini's sustainable and inclusive growth previously uh, this area was experiencing 10 to 11 hours of load shedding but after the project we saw substantial improvement that benefited businesses and industries the adb uh, supported new butuel station plays a, a vital role in uh, distributing power from the kalingandaki uh, corridor to industrial areas energy is a cornerstone uh, of development fueling investment job creation and inclusive growth and ultimately paving the way for brighter and more sustainable development uh, for the people of lumbini the goal is to improve the quality of the system to ensure that young people will be equipped with better skills and then get increased incomes we also work in an inclusive way and we reach out to uh, women and to people from the most disadvantaged groups and more importantly we also try to engage more private sector capital in the system so that private enterprises participate as active players and they can define what are the skills that are needed on the labor market. The US Agency for International Development is backing the Lumbini Grid partnership platform in a number of ways. For instance, USAID is working with partners to champion inclusive tourism initiatives in the greater Lumbini area like the Maya Devi Trail. We are facilitating investments in innovative tourism packages and engaging the private sector to foster sustainable tourism practices. We're also boosting the competitiveness of businesses in the tourism sector. USAID efforts are advancing economic development and cultural preservation in the region for the benefit of local communities and visitors alike. I've been really excited to see the work that's happening here on the health system transition and also on promoting social inclusion in Nepal. So we've had an opportunity to visit maternal services here and also a neonatal intensive care unit for those babies who were born premature or with complications. We then also visited the One Stop Crisis Management Center for those who've experienced gender-based violence. So the OCMC is a place where they can come and get help and that is gives them an opportunity to deal with the issues that they face. So it's very exciting to see the government and the development partners having come together to make sure that the poorest and most marginalized are able to come to Butwell and to access these services. In the case of the World Bank specifically what we're doing here is addressing two great stories in Nepal. One is a previous story, past, present and future and the other is from now to the future. The past, present and future. 
Nepal over the past, say, 40 years has managed and is one of the few countries to have done so to increase its forest cover from 20, 25, 27 percent to about 45 percent. This is amid a world where forests are being depleted. What's more interesting is it did it through communities, through community engagement and particularly through women in community engagement, marrying poverty reduction and climate change adaptation and resilience and forestry. The other one which is present to future is Nepal's new federalism enterprise, where we have seven provinces and 753 municipalities. And so through the work of the bank, trying to link development and climate and forestry through the forestry operation, and trying to focus on urban upgrading, but focusing on implementation through the provinces and the local governments, we're trying to marry the climate change agenda, the macro agenda, the development agenda, and the growth agenda into one. On March 1st, 2024, the Lumbini Provincial Government and International Development Partners agreed on a joint statement to support implementation of Nepal's grid platform in Lumbini Province. This marks a key milestone in Nepal's grid journey and underscores the power of partnerships to put grid in action for the benefit of all Nepalese.